the Chancellor, sir. Permit me to call on Dr. Taiwo Samuel Adenegon to read the citation on Mrs. Olu Shola Tony Momo. The Chancellor, sir. May I humbly invite Mrs. Tony Momo to the podium? And may I request that you stand and remain standing? Let's celebrate her, please. Citation of Mrs. Olushola Toyi Momo. Mrs. Olushola Momo is the vice chairman of the Chinese Media Group, which comprises the Chinese Global, Chinese 24, Chinese Digital, Chinese Academy, and its internationally acclaimed flagship network, Chinese Television. Mrs. Olushola Momo is an offspring of a prominent educationist of our origin. Chief J.T. Adelaine, a former headmaster of St. Andrew's Primary School, Owo. She attended St. Catherine's Anglican Girls Grammar School, Owo. I was brought up with the usual discipline and care characteristics of our descendants. She's married to Dr. John Momo, and by their joint enterprise, the Shannon's Media Group was established and not sure to its present leadership status all over the world and in the African continent in particular. The network has international bureaus in Johannesburg, London, and Washington, broadcasting in the UK on the BSKB platform. Chinese television has developed strong, unique relationships with international organizations, such as the United Nations, Voice of America, and Dutch World, which allows it to provide its viewers with prompt access to information around the world. Viewers can watch the station on a variety of platforms internationally. Chinese television also broadcasts on direct to home DTH across Africa, covering countries such as Tanzania, Mozambique, South Africa, Kenya, DRC, Uganda, Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, and Sudan. With a combined experience of over 40 years with Dr. John Momo, her husband, in media entrepreneurship, Ulushola's areas of core competency are in business development, commercial strategy, finance and investment, as well as human capital development. Her proficiency in business strategy and management skills ensures that she efficiently drives the group's corporate development, as well as its effective use of all corporate resources to raise the organization's profitability and profile. As Vice Chairman, Mrs. Ulushola Momo is principally responsible for providing strategic leadership as well as management and oversight in the commercial operations of the company, particularly in the areas of strategic client consolidation, stakeholder and community relations, organizational planning, administration, finance, investment and revenue, human capital development, and risk mitigation in a cost-effective, time and efficient manner. The enterprise in Ulushola has cultivated a penchant for maintaining the highest levels of ethical and professional standards, which coupled with a strong commitment to excellence, continues to enhance Chanel corporate expansion drive and brand. Mrs. Momo is passionate about motivating and mentoring staff, as well as aspiring and young business owners. Within the group, the dynamic Ulushola has set up workplace ethics frameworks and flexible systems that give back to employees. She initiated the Shannon's Women Network, which is a formal medium that encourages the mentorship of young female staff, promotes organizational policies that particularly cater for female staff, and allows female employees to freely discuss matters affecting them in the workplace. Thanks to her leadership and influence, 60% of the company's staff strength is female, with 40% in middle management. Mrs. Momo ensures that Shannon's Media Group provides employment opportunities to indigent residents of its host communities, in addition to providing scholarships to people in need. She was a director at the Convention on Business, Strat in Business Integrity, 
a non-governmental agency that entrenches transparency and due process. In essence, Ulusholas management's discipline underpins the integrity of the Shannes brand. She is a graduate of the University of Lagos with a BSc in mass communication, specializing in print journalism. She is also a diploma awardee in broadcast journalism of the same institution. Prior to starting Shannes Television, Mrs. Ulusholas Momo worked with the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, as reporter, anchor, and producer, and also with the International Merchant Bank, IMB Nigeria, in the Corporate Affairs, Treasury, and Credit Departments. She is on the board of trustees of several NGOs dedicated to the well-being of Africans and the development of the continent. An excellent home engineer, Mrs. Solushola Momo loves interior design, gardening, and reading. She, she is a member of the Friendship Bible Fellowship. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I gladly present to this honorable gathering a social entrepreneur, a business tycoon, a dynamic manager, and a distinguished philanthropist, Mrs. Olutola Toyi Momo. Okay, please, can we have some quiet? By the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I confirm on Mrs. Solusola T. Momo, Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa in Business Administration. Let's go and sit down, please. You will have time for this later, please. Please. <laughs> Dr. Mrs. Olusola Toyi Momo.
the Chancellor. Honorable Chancellor, um, allow me to please stand on existing protocol. By any standard, this is not only a Kairos moment for me, but also a homecoming moment for this young our girl. As I sit in this auditorium today, I'm filled with wonderful memories of my childhood. Growing up in this ancient town with a lot to hope for and dream about. I clearly remember. I clearly remember my passion before my teenage years, which was to grow up quickly to be a lady. I wanted to wear beautiful dresses, high heat shoes, makeup, and so on and would often pester my father to allow me to do all of those things. Till date, I would always remember his answer to me. He would say to me with a lot of empathy, you will do all that and much more, but only if you are able to get a university degree first. That's not surprising at all, because as you may have heard, my father was an educationist at his time, one of the strong pillars in the educational sector in this city and in the state. How thrilled I am today to be receiving this award. This is one of the most meaningful recognitions I've ever received. And it is one that I'll cherish for a very long time to come. I'm not sure how my name came to your attention, Governing Council, but I'm most grateful that you did, and I thank God for that. Surely, you will agree with me that when Jesus was talking to the audience that a prophet is not without honor in his hometown, he was not talking to the Achievers University Governing Council. Thank you to all of you for selecting me for this very much appreciated award. When one looks at the list of those who are also receiving this award today and those who have been honored, they are men of timber and caliber. You can imagine sharing the stage with the likes of uh, Speaker Dogara. I could still remember the, the, the chant that we all heard, Dogara. Do Gara, do Gara, in the last uh, dispensation. When I got a notification from the award selection committee that I was to be conferred with an honorary doctorate degree in business administration, honorary COSA, my immediate reaction was that of disbelief. But I soon snapped out of that mode when I learned that it was. Um, a classmate of mine who came with a message. This lady, Reverend Victoria Imolain, a true genius, an egghead during our secondary school years. No matter what happened those days in class, whether she came to class or not, she would always come first in examinations. I thank her for the role she has played to make today uh, meaningful for me. And when I heard that, I knew immediately that because this message came from Victoria, this was indeed Achievers University breaking news. According to a verse in the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, which says, whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, and not for men. Today's award encapsulates that profound saying for me. For indeed, he that does good for good's sake seeks neither paradise nor reward, but is sure of both in the end. One of the things I most appreciate about this award 
is that it has made me pause, reflect, and think about the lessons learned along the road of my professional career. Lessons that have become an integral part of my daily life are the Channels Media Group. In retrospect, one of the many lessons learned, perhaps the greatest, is that people and relationships matter. They provide the bridges in life. And that we will continue, as long as we continue to live, this will matter. Because it is those bridges that will take you from one point to the other as you ascend in life. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of the old girls of my alma mater, St. Catherine's Secondary School, Owa. And can I ask them to please just stand up for recognition? Yes. They've all gathered and come in their numbers to make today special. Thank you very much for coming. I also want to acknowledge the Adelaide Olayoju family. And of course, the famous, loving, and one of a kind Okuri Boye Ogumola Yemi family. Thank you very much for coming out in your numbers to support me on this occasion. I have been incredibly blessed on both the home and work fronts. I have been blessed in what I do. First, as a broadcast journalist and then as an entrepreneur, what could be better? I love my work and the opportunity I have to do the things I think are important to make the world better and to build what I hope will be a lasting legacy. On this special day, I want to thank those without whom this would not have been possible. First thanks to the one at the very core of my life, the one who has given me the parachute of life to truly fly and serve, my wonderful boss and loving husband, Dr. John Momo. He's a true son in love of our work, not in law. He adores our work and he dotes on our people. He would have loved to be with us today, but due to the exigencies of work, he has to be somewhere else on the West African coast. He got his fourth honorary doctorate degree uh, just a week ago from the University of Uyo, and I'm sure Achievers was counting. I thank him for his priceless support, his encouragement, and unending love over the decades. Many thanks, too, to the ever-diligent and industrious staff of Channels Media Group, who toil day and night, making the brand what it has become today. <laughs> Above all, glory to God for his mercies and mighty favor. Congratulations to all soon-to-be graduates for the hard work and accomplishments that have, been, that have brought you to this day. You more than deserve it, and indeed deserve a round of applause. I congratulate all fellow honorees and awardees, and I would also like to acknowledge proud and relieved parents and family members of the graduates. A number of you deserve some mention and appreciation, and I'm sure you have been so acknowledged. I also want to thank the Governing Council again, thank the university lecturers, admin staff, library staff, canteen staff, cleaning staff, gardeners, security, and all those who made sure that your university experience was worth it. It will be a sign of maturity that we thank them for their efforts. After all, gratitude to and graciousness towards others will always stand you out in life. Your degree is like a life jacket on the ship of life. It will keep you afloat until you find your own niche. And as the world that we now live in is a rapidly changing one, you will have to be able to adapt to the changing times to keep afloat on behalf of all the honorees 
I wish you success in your future endeavors. Finally, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all again for coming. This is an incredible time and one that I will always treasure for a long time to come. Thank you for listening. May God bless you and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. The Chancellor.